Santa knows where to find all the best and hottest smartphones just in time to make this Christmas better and bigger than ever. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless. Ho, 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 ho. Most elementary school students would think it was funny if their classmates fell asleep in class, but a group of students at W.R. Castle Elementary School in Johnson County wanted to know why it was happening, and they were surprised to find out how many students didn't have beds to sleep on. It's such a common thing that you don't think about it. It's just like, oh, well, I have one, and like the kid down the road has one, that means everybody has one. But they quickly realized that wasn't the case, and they came up with a plan. And we just decided that we were going to help them and also the kids who had a bed, but they didn't have sheets or pillows or things like that. So, like, you don't think about it, that there may be kids out there that don't have anywhere to sleep. Galena Burchett, a second grade teacher, says that students were obviously upset that their classmates were struggling. A lot of kids were sleeping on air mattresses. That seemed to be the most prevalent. And some on floors, couches pallets of blankets. I mean, it was just varying. The fundraising began during the Kentucky Apple Festival in October, and by the 1st of December, they had enough to buy 21 beds as well as sheets and blankets. And at an event this past Friday night, complete with Santa Claus, the students got their new beds. And one of those students was Toby McKenzie's seven-year-old daughter. She was sleeping on a pallet of blankets on the floor that was stacked high enough. I think there was 15 blankets, soft enough, so just to give her a place to sleep and stuff. McKenzie says he's thankful that so many children, as well as members of the community, wanted to help. If it wasn't for the school, I would probably been another year just trying to get a bed for her. And I'm a single father, so it's, it's hard. And the teachers are also thankful for what the students are learning through this experience. They're seeing the importance of helping someone else. And it helps some of these kids realize how fortunate they are and that they want to try to make life better for another child. In Johnson County, I'm Shannon Deskins, EKB News.